So what is going on everyone? It's your boy Kieran the Barber here. Today an awesome video for people that like fiddling. <laughs> I am a massive clipper fiddler. I like to zero gap my stuff. I like to get the best out of my clippers. So I have one, two. I have two US Pro cordless um, or the MV cordless in America. Now one of them, as you can see, has a bevel blade on it which I'm going to show you if the camera wants to focus on it, I don't think it ever does okay so this has a bevel blade on it right, you see that this one here, fade blade so as you can see that is dead flat the difference between them both is one is flat and one is rounded now I'm going to show you how to get the fade blade on your clipper step by step and not only that I'm going to be in focus not only that I'm going to be showing you how to also put your bevel blade on and to how to clean your clippers um, I hope you enjoy my video smash that like button awesome Right guys, what is going on? It's your boy Kieran the Barber here. Um, we've got something different today. I have two Andis Cordless US Pro Allies. Both are my own clippers. Um, one has an F on it. As you can see, one has the F on it fade. And, and the other one doesn't. The other one is the standard US Pro. Now behind them sits two sets of blades. Um, and to the average eye, as I say, it might seem that they are normal blades, but this one is a fade blade. So as you can see in the camera, it's dead flat. As to my normal head, it is a bevel. So you can see the difference in blades. This one is dead flat, and this one is more rounded. So what that does in effect is, the advantages and disadvantages of that is that the beveled head is really really good for when you're brushing up hair or you're just fading normal hair day to day it is really good so you get the standard bevel head when you buy these clippers but why not get a cordless pair of fades um, you can buy the fade head themselves um, I don't think they're that expensive and you can put it on and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put on so let me clear, clear the area as such now you have a fade blade and you have the blade that sits behind it and this is where it gets interesting because usually this would just be it, you would just put them on but you have a little um, this way round do not put it in this way round. Even though it looks like it goes in this way round, it does not go in this way round. Okay? So it goes outwards. Now push that in just tightly, just make sure it sits in just like that. And then you'll get two, as you can see in this clipper here, it has two um, wires that hang out metal rods as such and in this bit here it has two little um, bits where the rods needs, need to sit in so you need to pull them in and just push them and make sure there you go it sits in just like that now keep your thumb there and keep that quite tight grab your fade blade and just slide your fade blade over Now as you can see they're sitting nice and tight, I just want to make sure that I've got the screws. So with my thumb, I'll just twizzle that round, just so it sits in, just so it doesn't pop back out. And then with my other hand, this is where it gets tricky, this is the annoying part of such, which it shouldn't be that hard really. So I'm going to get my screwdriver now, and I'm just going to screw that in. 
find where the hole is and then screw it in. Okay. So now about gapping. What I want to do is I want to screw the screws up, but I don't want to screw them up too hard. So I leave it gapped. So I'm going to just gap them. Um, and make sure your blades are always in the middle as well. I know when people gap them, because they're concentrating on so, so, um, they're concentrating so hard on how close this is that they forget that their blades are out on this side. So always, regardless of whether you're zero gapping it, always make sure your blades are centered. Because what that does is, if it comes out this side, this, the, the lower blade will come out and it will hit your customer on the ear or on the side of the head. And no one really wants to be hit by a metal piece coming at you at quite some speed. So make sure that's in the middle. Make sure that is gapped to your level. I don't, I don't personally like going too, too gapped just because you could end up cutting someone. So I, I mean, I, I'll show you that is. That's fairly close. So then you get your brush, get your brush, get your screwdriver and just screw them nice and tight. And you just fill the blades afterwards and just get it one last. One last piece round. And then just check them because sometimes they can come out when you're um when you're screwdriver them. But every time you you manage to fiddle about with your blades, obviously you clean them. But just run your finger down this side and run your finger down that side and make sure they're fine. Cool care. So now onto my bevel blade, which is the standard blade that comes with it. Um, the benefits of taking this apart is that, just to clean it every now and again, obviously because you are going to get hair stuck down there and it is always, always brilliant to give your clippers a slight bit of maintenance. So again, I'm going to stick this on this way so the blades are pointing away from it. And then I'm going to make sure we've got that right in the middle and making sure them two pins are stuck between the two black ports that they're meant to be in raise it slightly hold it down flat bevel blade on there So now I've screwed these screws up, I've made sure this has got the bevel blade again, turn it on. The fade as you'll notice sounds different to the bevel. All them up, make sure they're nice and all, always away from the There we have it. So that is how you apply a fade blade, which is dead flat and a bevel blade, which has a rounded edge on it for basic clippering. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please give me a thumbs up. That's right, yeah, that is right. Give me a thumbs up, um, take care, and enjoy the rest of your day.